Okay, what's up, dude? It's Eski here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a block changer. So, this might be cool if, for for example, have a house with wooden floor, and then you wanna have something cool like when you press a button, one of the block in the floor will change into a glowstone to lift the house up, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So, what you will need is 28 redstone, one sticky piston, two normal pistons, no slime, and one redstone torch, one bottom of course, and two redstone repeaters, and of course the block which you want to change between. I'm going to change between cyan wool and blue wool. And you will also need two blocks of any material. Okay, so what you want to do is that first you want to destroy one block in, on the floor and place the sticky piston. Then you want to place the normal piston facing to the sticky piston with two blocks between. Same thing on this side, but place the piston reversed. Then place the first block which you want to change between here and the second one here. Place the random block of a material here and here. It doesn't matter which side you place the second block which you want to change on, it can be either here or either here. But make sure to place the block, say, base a row. Not like this, like this. Or this. So between those two options, it doesn't matter, it will be the same result. Then dig down two blocks, destroy this block, and build a little tunnel, and place the redstone torch here, and start off by placing your redstone, redstone repeater, Move it up to three here, and move it up to three up to three again. It's going to make it day. And then place redstone like this. Sorry. And then place the redstone in a square, so that the redstone is facing towards the piston. I mean, you can't place resin like this because then the resin isn't facing towards the piston. You have to pay, place it like this because this, this is the closest way to make it face the piston. Do the same thing on this side, of course. And now we're done. All we have to do now is place a block here and a button. See? It will drag down the block, move it to the side, and then move it up again. So that's basically how to make your own block changer. It's my own design. Um, I know there's a lot of block changers, but I invented this one. And actually, now I'm going to be teaching you, or at least tell you, why this works. Because you know that this works, but not why. And the reason why this works is that, first we press the bottom, and then it will drag down the piston, because if you place redstone, and then a block next to redstone, and the redstone torch on top of it, then the redstone will be activated, the redstone torch will be activated when this redstone is turned off, but if the tail redstone is turned on, then this would be turned off. And that's what happens here. So first we'll deactivate this piston and drag the block down. Because pistons can't push piston arms. And then this block will be one step down, 
Then it will try to send redstone through here because redstone repeaters can actually send redstone through one block but not through air. So if for example put it like this, see then it can't send through. But if we remove this block then it can't. So that means that it can push on this side, also the redstone goes through this block and activates the piston so that it pushes this row one block to the side and then this this sticky piston will go up again because then it the red the re button stops giving redstone. So that's pretty much much why. And by the way, why well, we needed two blocks here is simply because if we would put Breast repeaters here and move everything one block closer to the middle, then it would be it wouldn't work because if you have the red repeater here, it would count as this block would have redstone, active redstone, and therefore it will activate its piston again because it would back to resonate that would activate a piston so that it would push up the block again. So then it would activate a piston and then try to push. And as I said, it can't push piston arms. And yeah, so that's what happens. So first, I was going to take one more time. First, the redstone inverts this one so that it will pull down. Then I time this resonator piece exactly so that it will send through when this block has gone down one block and then it will send all the way around it will succeed on the side which has the block but it will fail on the side which does not have the block and then when this block is dragged down it will exactly when the block is down it will activate this piston which will push the row to this side so let's see it. Okay, so down through and activate and up. That's what happens. And now next time we press, it is going to fail to put around here, but it's going to succeed here. Because if both order would get activated, then it wouldn't be able to push. Because if two pistons would push, only one of them would, would succeed. And I think it would be random because, as I said, pistons are arms can push piston arms. I can show you one example. It would be like this if both of them get activated. See, both of them can't get pushed. So only one can get pushed at a time, and therefore we have to make it so that it will fail on this side and succeed on this one. So down through activate up. Okay, so down through push up. So that's also the explanation on why this works. So that's all for this time. So see ya and please subscribe.